Good morning, brothers and sisters. This is Pastor Lee. You will not find any videos of myself during these lectures. Why? Because it is not about me, but the focus should be on the gospel. We hope that you had a good week, and I hope you are wearing your mask and social distancing during this crisis. Once again, we thank you for tuning in to the Pastor.Faith YouTube channel. We are bringing you messages using the manuscripts which were the original writings and interpretation into the King James Bible. This will give each and every one of us a clear view and understanding of the Bible which was created with the wisdom of God to teach with clarity and understanding, not to confuse. As we look at the book of James chapter one, verse five through six, it teaches us if any lack wisdom, let him ask of the Lord who giveth to all men and women freely. So go with us now into another lecture where some are recorded live and some come directly from the desk of the pastor. Come follow us with your Bibles as we follow Christ. Amen. We thank God uh, for just knowing him for who he is. And, you know, we basically can't say we love the Lord and half step because we will be found out. How will we be found out? Through trials, through tests, which challenge our beliefs before other people. How we handle ourselves, how we conduct ourselves, what we know in Christ portrays who we are. And you know, as crazy as it may seem to many of us, there's people watching us. You may not think there's people watching you, but they're watching your step. They're watching uh, who you uh, portray to be and how you conduct yourself when trouble comes along. Who do you trust in? Do you know who you trust in? Do you know who your deliverance is? And this comes about every moment of our life. The title of this sermon, or this message today, is Protection. How many of you feel you have protection? Why do you think you have protection? Because Jesus died in our sin. It's so so right. Amen. <laughs> you heard that, huh? What that? Anyone else? Okay, that's a start right there. You knowing that he died uh, for your sins and, and that whatever you have need of, you're, you're under the covenant. You're under the protection. Amen? As we look at Psalms chapter 91, verse 1 through 16, a wonderful scripture that portrays protection. As we look at the writer that David writes, and, and it's, it's very, very clear that David writes with understanding of his relationship with God. And sometimes we have to remind ourselves of the understanding of the wisdom and of the knowledge that we have of God and who he is. Because no matter what happens in our lives, we're under the protection. Satan would have it to be that we forget that we are protected. Verse 1, he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Are we dwelling in the secret place? Are we dwelling in the place of the Most High? 
and under the shadow of the Almighty. Sometimes what we're going through at the moment, if we are just reminded where we are under God, it kind of eases the pain because we know that he's protecting us. How is he protecting us? He's protecting us mentally, spiritually. This is the protection. Verse 2, I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God in him will I trust. Refuge, being protected and kept away from trouble. Not saying trouble won't come, but he's our refuge. And you got to rest assured that when trouble comes, deliverance is right behind it. Right behind it. And this is the spiritual walls of protection that are around us. Verse 3, surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler, the enemy, and from the noisome pestilence. The rowdy one that's always causing problems. Those that are a continual annoyance of life is what this is. Continual annoyance. We have to learn don't focus on the continual annoyance because we have the protector and we're under the protection. Verse 4, I shall cover thee with his feathers and under his wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. When trouble is around, you reach out and feel the Lord's closeness by and around you. You got to reach out. You've got to feel it. You've got to feel it. You've got to crave for it. And it's all right to look up and say, Lord, where are you? I don't feel you this moment. Grow closer to me that I may feel you and feel and know that everything's going to be all right. Verse 5, thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day. What's he, he is speaking about the condition of your mind. Do you know more about the conditions of the world than God's protection and deliverance? It's a big question there. We have a lot of people that know can tell you, sit down and tell you stories about uh, the world, about the events, about their city, about people that's in it. But when you're in trouble, can you uh, uh, redirect your, your way, your motion to know uh, as much about God as you do other things on this earth, knowing who that you can call upon and know that you are going to get an answer. Verse 5, for thou shalt be afraid, thou shalt not be afraid of the terror by night, nor for the arrow that lieth in the day. Again, just repeating that. You're not to be afraid of those things when you know that God is present with you and that he will never leave you or forsake you. You know my favorite term is the mindset. And during the day we should ask or question ourselves, where is our mindset? What are we thinking about? What are we prioritizing over the circumstances? Verse 6, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth noonday. We're not concerned about the negativity of the day, the negativity that is portrayed before us because of the protection that we have in Jesus Christ. Number 7, a thousand shall fall at thy side, and 10,000 at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. How do we know this? Because our trust is in the Lord. 
We know our protector is the protection against the enemy that comes against us. Just relax and turn your situation over to the Lord. And he's got this. Everyone say he's got this. In verse 8, only with thine eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Now, in other words, trust God and you will see the wicked get what's coming to them. God sees all, rewards all accordingly. Everyone say he's in control. control. Verse 9, because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, my protector, even the most high, thy inhabitation. In other words, he is yours and my deliverer and provider. When trouble comes, we don't necessarily reach out to other sources to be delivered. We first go to God and ask him to lead us and guide us toward who he has sought out to help us. Always give him the opportunity to move in our behalf first. Verse 10, there shall no evil befall thee, neither shall thy plague come nigh thy dwelling. Evil's going to knock at your door, brothers and sisters. But as long as our trust is in the Lord and we know our protector, it will not overcome you. It won't overcome you. And when God provides many things to come our ways, to help us, we put our trust in God to lead in God that those ways help us in the areas that we need help in. Being in, being in the doctors, being under the doctor's care, being in the hospital, we first go to God. We first pray to him. We first pray and ask him to give those that are overseeing our care, wisdom and knowledge and understanding. Because he's given them the wisdom to be a- and the gift and the talent to be able to do what they do. But they often don't do what they're supposed to do. They often don't see what they're supposed to see. But we're putting God as the overseer over that. You're always protected when you abide in him. Everyone say, no worries. No worries. Verse 12. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against the stone. This is assured protection and comfort. And who's he talking about? He's talking about the angels. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Do you remember that scripture? Who quoted that? Satan quoted that to Jesus. When when they had their confrontation on earth. Because he was trying to get him to bow down to serve him. Because he was speaking to him about your, the angels was going to bear you up and protect you and keep you. And God knows the scripture. Satan knows the scripture. And We have to study the scripture and know the scripture and know when he's misusing the scripture. And he was trying to get him to bow down. Again, I've got to read this again. They shall bear thee up in thy hands, and lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. In other words, if you fall or anything, they're there to protect you. And that's what he he was saying Uh, to Jesus because he was getting trying to get him to bow down and worship him verse 13 thou shalt tread upon the lion and altar the young lion and the dragon shall thou tremble under your feet we can do all things through Christ who strengtheneth us if we put him first verse 14 
because he hath set his love upon me. This is David talking. Therefore will I deliver him. God's going to deliver him. When I say David's talking, David's writing this about God as God speaks to, to him through us in the writings because he has set his love upon me. In other words, we have set our love upon him. Therefore, will I deliver him? Will he deliver us? Setting our love upon him. I will set him on high because he have known my name. And that is knowing the power of the name Jesus. At the sound of that name, demons tremble. They don't tremble at people who just know those words, but don't understand the strength and the meaning of it. He is talking about a pure spiritual relationship between Man and God. Verse 15. This is you and I. Shall call upon me. And I will answer. I will be with him in troubles. I will deliver him and honor him. Now this is. Brothers and sisters. The protection and comfort for you and I. As we walk through the valley of shadow of death. Verse 16, with long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. What a guarantee to all of us, a guarantee. And we need to remember, uh, this is a, a very strong uh, chapter that is, is really important to read from time to time, Psalms 91. And, and again, I labeled that, this message, the protection because he's there protecting us, watching over us. Stop looking at the circumstances and start looking more of the protector. And we will see powerful results in our life. Amen. Father, today we honor you and thank you for this message. Thank you for reminding us that you are our protection and that you desire to protect us as much as we desire to have you protect us and to know you as Lord and Savior. Amen. Thank you for joining us on the Pastor.Faith YouTube channel. We encourage you to have a conversation with God on a daily basis. Not many people take the time out of their schedule to do so. This ministry encourages everyone to receive Jesus Christ into their life as Lord and Savior. You may ask, how do I receive him? Just talk to him, confessing to him as being a sinner and how much you need him. Asking Jesus into your heart, which is your mind, and in doing so, we then have a covenant with God that when we repent and ask forgiveness for any of our sins that we all commit regularly, God is justified to forgive us of our sins. Let me say that the most challenging moment we will face in our life is receiving that forgiveness that God provides. You may not feel comfortable the first time around, but practice makes perfect. Knowing that someone loves you deeply as God Almighty, he himself has proven by bringing his only begotten son to take on our sins as the last sacrifice for mankind, to absorb all of the sins of mankind that we all commit. And still, having the power to forgive us. We love you and look forward to meeting with you and sharing the next message. Soon as I stopped worrying Worrying how the story ends When I let go and I let God I let God have his way that's when things start happening When I stop looking at back then When 
I let go and I let God. I let God have His way. Mm-hmm. I couldn't seem to fall asleep. There was so much on my mind, searching for that peace. But the peace I could not find Oh, but then I I kneeled down to pray I was praying, help me please Then he said, you don't have to cry Cause I'll supply all your needs Let go. Let go. Oh, let go. Let go. Let 